a major uh, controversy over smart meters. Some folks in the Ann Arbor area are uh, being threatened with having their energy, their electricity, shut off by DTE because they are refusing to comply with a mandate to put in new smart meters. Uh, David Shelton is head of the Michigan Stop Smart Meter Coalition and joins us on the other end of our line this afternoon. Mr. Shelton, good to have you with us. Hi, glad to be here. So uh, understand what, what uh, we, we've talked with folks in the past. Explain to our listeners wh- why folks feel that these uh, smart meters are, are not only unnecessary, but that they are actually dangerous. Well, there are quite a number of reasons. Uh, we've, we've been fighting this battle since 2011. Uh, mainly the, the issues are our privacy, uh, that it is an intrusive device. It, uh, in essence, is a surveillance device on the home, uh, which is actually prohibited by a Michigan statute that's not being enforced right now. Um, it does enable the utilities to track all kinds of information about what you're doing in the house at different times of the day, figure out how many people are in the house, when people come and go. All of this information can be sold to third parties. Um, that's the privacy aspect. But then there's the health also. Many people are having their lives essentially ruined right now by these these things, or they've been denied the use of their homes and are having to uh, they can't even sleep in their own beds or, in some cases, in their own houses uh, because of the effects, causes heart palpitations, brain fog, inability to sleep, all kinds of uh, neurological problems. Um, the utilities are in denial that any of these things are happening, but they are happening, and we have experts all over the world that can back that up. We brought in an expert uh, Dr. David Carpenter from State University of New York to so okay. testify before the Michigan Utilities Commission, and his testimony was ignored. Um, well, we also know these folks are, are having their their uh, electricity shut off because, uh, in some cases, at least according to DTE, uh, they are refusing to have what uh, DTE and the Public Service Commission in the state of Michigan considers an obsolete meter swapped out and they can put in a meter a digital meter that does not transmit that is a non-transmitting yeah, meter but this this is essentially a false claim by DTE first of all the analog meters are not obsolete many other utilities are still using them they're still being manufactured they're still available but if they're inefficient sir why should we well they're not inefficient actually it's the smart meters that are inefficient because they use more electricity in the course of a year it but you don't a need a human being to come out and read just them to run them over the course of a year where the analog meters didn't didn't use any electricity okay but we 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 do have to have a person get into a car come out and read the meter um that's that's gasoline yeah. that's and they're saying that's inefficient and it's also less less costly they would submit they're trying to save you money oh. That's what they would submit, yes. And what they're offering is what they call an opt-out meter, which is essentially a smart meter with a radio turned off. And for that, they still have to come out and read the meters. So if they have to come out and read the meters for their so-called opt-out meter, why can't they come out and read the meters for the analog meter? Well, because you're going to be paying for it. My understanding is you have to pay a one-time fee of 67 bucks and then a $10 fee every month to have that meter yes, read. that's right. But uh, it's the same either way. So why... Why can they offer us an opt-out meter that's not really an opt-out meter, but they can't let us keep an analog meter? I mean, people's lives are on the line. Uh, Linda Kurtz, who had a a demonstration here in Ann Arbor yesterday, Mm -hmm. she had some 75 people here at her home uh, to protest the fact that 10 families are being turned off in Ann Arbor. These people really will get their electricity turned off. Most of them will choose to have the electricity turned off rather than cave in and take their so-called opt-out meter. But, you know, I think uh, when I, we're talking less than one-half of one percent, uh, at least according to DTE, that are that are opposing these no, smart no, that's meters. No, that's a false, that's is a that a, false number. Okay. What we know to be the case is that approximately five percent of the public will have immediate symptoms when either a smart meter or an opt-out meter is installed. I gotta I gotta ask you because I, I hear that figure. How do these people function in today's world where everywhere you go there's Wi Fi, there is uh, some you know, we, we walk around how can they walk around with a with a smartphone in their pocket? That's uh that's a problem, believe me. Uh most of those folks will not have a smartphone in their pocket, will not have Wi Fi in their homes. 
The difference with, with the meters is everything else they can choose. If they'd rather not have it, they can choose not to have it. They can choose to turn devices off at night when they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. The meter can never be turned off. So the meter is unique in that regard. Uh, but they uh, tell us that this this burst, when it transmits, it only transmits once a day. If you've got that a TV is, remote in your that house... That is a bald-faced lie. Okay. Those meters transmit approximately every 15 to 20 seconds. They put out pulses all day long. And how did you find that out? And you found that out independently? And how do you verify that? I, I know it two different ways. I know it because I measured it myself with a handheld RF meter. Okay. I also know it because... The uh, California utility, Pacific Gas and Electric, was required to provide that data to their public utility commission, and they admit that the meters are pulsing about every 20 seconds all day long. All right. We thank you for your time, Mr. Shelton. Uh, is, are, have You're you welcome. gone to court on this, and, and where does it go from here so that these folks aren't sitting in the dark? Okay. Uh, where we stand right now is we have a bill before the Michigan legislature. It's House Bill 4220. And uh, right now it is uh, in the Energy Committee. Okay. And our, our goal right now is to educate enough people so that uh, the committee will, will pass it on to the full All house right. and, and we can go from there. And we thank you for doing that. David Shelton, head of Michigan Stop Smart Meters, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.